Developing tonight, important meetings all weekend for President-elect Donald Trump in New Jersey. Here with reaction and, and analysis to the latest transition news, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor John Bolton. All right, good evening, Ambassador. Now, glad to be with I, you. I want to do two things with you tonight, and and I hate looking in the rearview mirror, especially when it comes to President Obama. But I know that he's traveling, and I don't know where he is, but I know he was with Angela Merkel, and he's headed somewhere, Peru or. Uh, what is the guy doing and why is he doing it? Well, this trip was obviously set up before the election and it was supposed to be his uh, valedictory victory tour uh, to help cement his legacy internationally. You know, he what had legacy? a very famous... Well, I, 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 I would be hard-pressed to describe it, but it's obviously not turned out the way that he planned it because those persnickety American people uh, didn't elect Hillary Clinton. What it has emphasized, I think... And he took think, it personally, right? He said he it, was. Well, he, he set it up to take it personally, saying, I need her to be my third term. So I think what it underlines is uh, just uh, for Americans as well, he has two months left in office, two months, and then he's gone. All right. Um, and and uh, quickly, are you worried in those two months, Ambassador, that through the U.N. he is capable of doing some damage to the American people, Israel, uh, as well as some of our allies? Well, I think this is the point of uh, maximum danger from my point of view of his mm -hmm. actions. I think there are potential foreign threats of people trying to take advantage of him, but it's with respect to Israel in the Security Council and the General Assembly. There's all kinds of speculation uh, in New York that the U.S. will depart from decades of settled policy and support a resolution that recognizes the existence of a Palestinian state that defines Israel's borders in a way that confines them to what's called the 67 ceasefire line, right. all, all of which is an effort to uh, resolve the uh, dispute between Palestinians and Israelis, not through face-to-face -face bargaining, but by what Barack Obama thinks is best. Right, right. Scary stuff. We're going to have you on again. I want to talk about these next couple of months. All right, so Jeff Sessions, okay, probable AG candidate, a lot of mud going along. It's like every day they throw mud at the next person and see what sticks. Uh, you were in the Department of Justice at the time that he was being nominated for a federal judgeship. Tell us about that. Well, I was uh, in charge of legislative affairs, and I must say it was the, the most outrageous series of attacks on anybody I had ever seen. I thought he was treated very unfairly. Uh, I thought he, he was the victim of really a, a political campaign. Uh, and in many respects, what happened to Jeff uh, in that judicial nomination uh, was the forecast of what was to come for William Rehnquist for the Supreme Court, for Bob Bork for mm -hmm. the Supreme Court later. Uh, it was all, uh, it all really began back there. So it was a fine irony that he was elected to the Senate later and now serves on the Judiciary Committee. I think he'll be confirmed. I think they may try and replay the 1986 battle. Uh, but I think times have changed. And I think viewed on what he's done since that fight in 86, uh, he should be confirmed. Why do you say it was a training ground? What, what do you mean by that? Well, what had happened in the confirmation process and what uh, Jeff was the first victim of was that instead of looking at the, the person's record and competence, it was like a political campaign. And a yes. nominee is very hard pressed to defend when you have outside interest groups uh, digging things out of the record, trying to present them without context. Uh, there, there was open revolt from within the uh, Civil Rights Division of the Justice Department, uh, openly working with uh, liberal members of the Judiciary Committee and others to sabotage the nomination. It, it was startling to all of us. But as I say, it was just the beginning of what was to come over the next 30 years. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, it seems that he is well respected and has a great record that I talked about earlier in the show. Anyway, Ambassador John Bolton, thanks so much for being with us tonight.